Angie Postacogla is set to be offered a bumper new deal. But could it be the end of the love affair with Tom Rogic made a late-night visit to Instagram, posting 10 images covering some of the highlights of his Celtic career. As Angie has delivered his first title with Celtic FC, one of many in different continents, it seems the Celtic board are looking to tie down the Aussie manager, as the report says, the Celtic hierarchy plan to open talks with the boss himself and his representatives over the coming weeks as they look to tie the 56-year-old former Socceroos boss down for the long term. The Hoops fans have been calling for a longer-term deal to be dished out months ago. They could see that Postacogla was the man for the job and not just because of the performances on the park. The gaffer has an affinity with the fans. There is a full-blown mutual love affair between the supporters and Angie because he can relate to them. He is honest with them. No bull. No bluster. Straight down the line. And the football is just sublime. Postacogla's style of football was made for Celtic. And the board intend to keep it here for a few years yet. But could it be over for Tom Rogic? Wearing an all-green New Balance kit there was the last-minute winner away to Kilmarnock under Ronnie Daler, another winner at Fir Park early in the Invincible season, as well as the Hamden and Ibrox highlights that have delivered the goods and ensured his hero status among the fans. Rogic is an infrequent user of Instagram, Last night's flood of posts from down the years may be a nostalgic reflection although some fans will be concerned that it could be the end of a nine-and-a-half-year journey. In May 2018 Celtic announced that Rogic had signed a contract to keep him at Celtic until at least the summer of 2023 but recently it seems that the club holds an option on the last 12-month of contract renewals. On Monday the Daily Record claimed that Celtic hadn't taken up the 12-month option on Nee Bitten's contract. Under Angie Postacogla Rogic has been an important but not quite essential part of the first team. Over the last three matches the Glasgow Derby, Hearts and Dundee United the Australian has started on the bench with Matt O'Reilly preferred in midfield. With Yosuke Idaguchi, Rio Hattate, and even James McCarthy signed under Postacogla, Celtic are well covered with midfield options. Whether it was an innocent Instagram post, or a cryptic message remains to be seen with Angie Postacogla making his last media commitments over the next two days. Could it really be the end of the line for term? Back to the bumper new deal after remarkable Celtic Fairytell Story 4, after securing the Scottish Premiership in a stellar debut season with Celtic, Angie Postacogla may just be set for a handsome pay raise. The Australian manager has had immense success at club level in Australia and Japan, but few predicted the ease with which he would roll to the Scottish title in his first taste of European football. Postacogu's initial contract was a 12-month rolling deal. According to the report, Celtic management have been delighted with the progress of the club under Angie, and will open discussions in the coming weeks to try and tie down the Australian for the foreseeable future. The Scottish football community agrees that Postacogla is deserving of a pay raise, despite many criticising his appointment at the beginning of his Celtic tenure. One of those former critics was former Scottish striker Charlie Nicholas, who now believes the Celtic board would be nothing short of crazy not to offer Postacogla a more lucrative, long-term deal. He's taken his humble pie well I see. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up.